Two generations of this family wiped out within weeks. This daughter, granddaughter, and niece, Bela Adams, blames the deaths on an inadequate response to the pandemic. My mother died on April 22nd. It hardly seems possible. Bibla Adams not only lost her mother, but her grandmother and aunt too. My mother, my aunt, my grandmother, these are three black ladies from the west side of Detroit. They have not touched anybody from China. Adams highly critical of the initial federal response to the new virus sweeping the country. And I do believe that for the entire month of February, unfortunately, the United States did not take action. In Michigan, blacks make up 14% of the population, but account for at least 40% of COVID-19 deaths. Adam's mother, Elaine Head, a 70-year-old retired school counselor, led worship and praise at the New Testament Church of God in Christ. Adam's grandmother, Minnie Head, was 89 years old. She was a relatively healthy woman. You know, without this disease, she could have lived, she could have lived another 10 years. On March 26, her mother and grandmother were taken to the hospital. They never recovered. It's the same day she says her aunt died from the coronavirus. Faith, fun, and food. They just loved having a good time. They loved shopping and getting a, a good deal. And they loved each other. And I know that they are all together in heaven again. It just seems almost more than anyone could bear. And at this tough time, Adams has lost her job as a writer at the Metro Times due to the pandemic. In Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. Wow.